Hi, I trust you're well. So you're looking to increase your screen real estate within Lightroom Classic. Well, in today's Lightroom Classic quick tip, that's exactly what we're going to look at. My name's Mark. I'm an award-winning qualified photographer and educator. And for the past 10 years, I've been helping photographers understand their workflow, the tools and skills they need within Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Most week, I host live events on Zoom, helping you understand and get back to the field of photography sooner. If you'd like to know more, just visit lightroom.support. Without any further ado, let's jump across the classic. Here I am, I'm in Lightroom Classic, I'm in the grid view. And we have panels that are currently hidden. If I want to reveal my panels, I just press tab and the left and right panel display. Press tab again on my keyboard, they hide. But I can also do the same thing by hovering over the little triangle or in the right hand case, I have to click on the little triangle. Now, how the panels interact is if we right click on the panel, on the little triangle itself, it brings up a menu and we can hide manually, auto hide and show and auto hide. So if I click on auto hide and show, as I roll the mouse off, it disappears. As I roll the mouse over on the black strip down the side of the screen, it will show. Auto hide, auto show. And some people like that. Some people like the auto hide. So I roll off, but to show it, I've got to click on the little triangle. Well, the alternative is manual. So it stays there permanently until I click on the triangle. And what you can do is there's also sync with opposite panel. So the left and the right panel are the same. So that's now manual. And if I go to the other side, that's now manual. And each panel is independent of each other's panel in each module. So everyone, everyone can be independently set up how you want your workflow to be. Now, I'm just gonna press tab and bring those panels back out. There's a little sweet spot between the grid or any view, it could be loop view or compare or survey, but there's a little sweet spot between the panel and the image viewing area. And if you bring the mouse to that sweet spot very gently, you'll see that the mouse changes to two lines and two arrows. When it does that, if you hold and click your left mouse key, you can drag the panel and make it wider and smaller. Same for every panel. It's around about each panel 10% of your screen real estate size. So you get 10% approximately for each panel and about 80% for your screen in the middle. And you can do the same on the film strip at the bottom. So if I come down, and hover on between, in my case, the dark gray and the black when I've extended the film strip, there we go. I can make the film strip bigger or smaller. Brilliant, isn't it? But if you want to show all four panels, hold the shift and tab and it hides everything and then brings everything back. Brilliant. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you here was what they call solo mode. So if we expand the panels, you can see one panel is open, one panel is closing in my case. And you can do that for every panel, for every module, apart from the navigation. So that's top left hand corner. So if I go right click on folders, next to the folders on the gray bit, you've got this solo mode. So if I turn it off now, expand folders, expand collections, they, they stay open. But if I go right click and it can be, oh, go, on, go on catalog now, right click, solo mode. As I click, the other one closes. But you might say, hey Mark, I want to have two panels open. Adobe's thought of that. Hold the shift key down and click on the other panel 
and it'll open it for you. But click on a panel again without the shift key done and it will close the panels. So there we go, so click on one panel and it opens. And it's the same for every panel within Classic and you can have them independently set. So, what else can you do? Well, in the develop module, you can adjust the order of the panel. So if you click right click on to the left of the word basic, let's say, or it could be transform or anything like that, customize develop panel, and you can turn the tools off by ticking on the boxes and you can move them around into the workflow order you want and you press save you have to exit classic and restart for the order to take place but if you get bored you can just go press the default order and it goes back to what it was and again just let me show you if I hover over the corner between the image or the background of the image and the panel I get my little tool click in the sweet spot it's very difficult sometimes there we go I can just drag the panel out drag the panel back it's, it's a little bit fiddly but yeah you, know, you get there you get the sweet spot and by the time you get that there we go see so you can adjust that and it's independent everyone is independent of everyone else now what else can I do well are you left-handed so if we go to preferences and we've got interface you can swap the left and right hand panels around so the if you're a left hander you might want the panels to be the other way around so you might want the develop panel this side and it will swap the panels around what it doesn't do is justify because at the moment it's all right hand justified or the outer parts of it justified it just literally picks the panels up and swaps them over it doesn't make it so all the menus are against the side of the, the screen which is annoying in my case so that's a great way of um, changing your workflow especially if you're left-handed so i hope today has been of help for you how you can adjust your screen real estate my name's Mark. If you'd like to know more about what I can do to help you in Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, just sign up for my newsletter, lightroom.support. Bye for now.